All right, Sharks, it's been a little while since I've put a video out, but we've got one here. It's a little bit information-based. I wish that the technology that I'd used was a little fancier, but it's going to work. As I uh, get a little bit more used to video making, we'll do it a little fancier and make it a little more visually appearing, appealing. But the information is what it is. Big question we're going to answer, what is my fitness tracker saying? So during our pandemic that we're in the midst of right here we have our fitness trackers on hopefully we're still wearing them let's take a look at them and let's decipher what that information is telling us of how our day went so i want to put out a big disclaimer at the start here before we get going i and i might repeat myself i'm going to focus on it a little bit uh throughout I love getting my steps. I think fitness trackers are a great invention. I appreciate all of the stats that are recorded on them. They're very useful. I check mine frequently throughout the day, as well as every night at the end of the day to help keep myself accountable for my daily activity. Now, that being said, it's a little bit different right now, but uh, that being said, my job in a normal scenario makes it quite easy for me to accomplish my fitness goals with minimal extra effort right now we're needing to put in a little extra effort because we're just not moving naturally anymore. But the information that you're about to look at here is really opinion-based and applies more specifically to being housebound in today's social distancing climate. So take a look and see what you think. And hopefully you're hearing some of the things that I have to add. Now, here's the big question. What kind of fitness tracker do you have? And for our purposes today, it doesn't matter what kind of tracker you are using. There are so many different fitness trackers with so many different prices. You can spend a lot of money. You can spend a little bit of money. They're all going to track something. Some have fancier insides and therefore do more. But is that really valuable today? All fitness trackers are based on the same general ideas. They're counting steps or they're measuring distance. So real simple, we're just going to be looking at the basics. For today's purpose, we're going to be looking at what basic information exists on your fitness tracker. What do the stats mean? What are they telling us? And where should our main focus be right now? Like I've said, there are lots of other fitness trackers that many people have. They love them, and I've heard from some people how great they are. They will all work similarly with features that are pretty well the same. I, however, am going to talk about two of the more common devices that I myself am more familiar with. First off, the Apple Watch. Um, it's a smart watch. It's not specifically a fitness tracker, but it does track your fitness. Some people have some series of Apple Watch. I think there's five different models now. Number six is on the way later this year. Doesn't matter right now. Apple Watches have different games. We're not worried about those right now. You can put different watch faces on them. Not worried about those right now. Lots of bells and whistles. This is obviously an Apple product. So if you're an Apple lover, as some people are, this might be your preference. Or you might just be into the real basic um, common option that uh, quite a few people are sporting these days, and you have some version of Fitbit. And now, many different kinds. You can get the real simple trackers that uh, are geared towards kids. You can get the fancier ones. Uh, I've got a few different ones on the picture that you're looking at right now. There's also a Fitbit smartwatch, but they all are giving you similar functions. There's some fancy extra features that can be valuable on the more expensive ones, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're better at the basic operations. Here is where we're gonna to focus today. We've got the Apple Watch information screens. There's three different screens that uh, uh, you kind of have to toggle through to get your full story if you're tracking fitness on an Apple Watch. And then there's the Fitbit home screen that has a simple explanation of everything that you've done in that day on uh, just one screen. 
No, yesterday was not my thousand and one one hundred thousand and one steps day. Sorry, that would have been awesome if I'd done that, but I did not go thirty nine miles.